Hey there YouTube, it's Hex again. So I have another video for you. This one's actually a bit of a weird video. Um, it's not something that I normally put out there often. Um, but it's something I wanted to share because I get asked, oh, sorry guys about the glare on this bottle. Let me see if I can, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. There we go. Um, it's something I don't normally put out there, but I want to talk about how to detect signs of someone trying to lay tracks on you, or do work against you, or, or hurt, curse, or, or hex you, whatever the case may be. Um, so, just the other night, I had Chris and the baby over. Um, you guys will know who that is if you just watched my update video. Um, and she had gotten a hold of, um, I have a jar of, of loose leaf sage. I mean, she had spilled some of it on the floor here, so I just vacuumed that up, um, a few days ago. And, you know, that day had been a shitty day. It was a freaking terrible day. Work was just a clusterfuck. There was um, a lot of stuff going on um, there in my personal life. Like, my energy was, like, super low. My anxiety was super high for whatever reason. Like, it was just not a good day. So, I finally got off work. I had closed, so I got home at about 10 p.m., and I came into my room, um, and those of you guys that have seen my room before, you know I have a door that leads into my room here. So I have this door that comes directly into my room from outside, from the front of the house. Um, I came in. Um, I walked right past my altar, stepped over the sage um, from the, the night before. I didn't have time to vacuum it up then. Um, you know, I went, I showered, I changed, did all my, you know, my usual evening routine, and I came in, I grabbed the vacuum and came in to start vacuuming up the sage. Was I'm plugging the vacuum in, I look down, and what do I see crawling right where that chest is at? Literally, this is my altar, you guys, and it was right here. What do I see crawling on the ground but a black widow? And the black widow looked like it was dying anyways. If you guys have ever seen a spider die, you know they curl their legs up, um... They, they, they definitely look like they're dying. Now, di spiders are known to play dead, but this one, I actually took this jar because I thought it was interesting that it was, you know, I started feeling weird. It was a shitty vibe all day. Things just were not going my way. And then there's a black widow crossing in front of my altar trying to die. That, to me, is a sign that someone is, is working against me in some way or another. Um, so I actually took the cap of this and I smashed the spider twice. And I scooped it into the jar. It was dead for all intents and purposes. It was dead. I mean, its legs curled up. I shook the living hell out of it to see if it was going to react. It did not move. You know, you know, I'm not normally one for spiders. I really don't like spiders. I think they, they just freak me out. Um, you know, I know they're powerful beings, but I just would rather not deal with them. Um, this spider has now been in this jar with no food or oxygen for multiple days. Um, the next morning... Uh, Chris came over and or actually the next evening I'm sorry the next evening Chris came over and he was he got here before I did and he was prepping some stuff and I told him to take a look at the spider and it was fucking alive tell me how I killed this spider I ki I like I smashed the spider I killed it and it is completely alive and well and thriving in this jar this is how I know this is not just there it is moving this is not just a normal um just a random spider this is somebody's way of, of of hexing me it has to be there's no other explanation for why this spider should be alive there's no other explanation for why this spider should be here in my room um i spray and i use essential oils to protect against spiders and other bugs um because we do have an ant problem in the area where we live um <clears throat> we're near the basin of like a wildlife reserve so there are lots of ants and mice so we have to spray and use all those precautions otherwise it becomes a problem um so I have kept it in the star and letting it build a little bit of a web, um, and what I'm going to actually do is do a return to sender spell. So I'm actually going to shake the spider down to the bottom of the jar where it was at before, pop it open real quick, sorry guys, um, take some shards of a broken mirror and drop it in, um, put in a few other ingredients, and we're going to seal this jar and bury it in the ground um, after I burn a black candle over the top of it. So essentially... I'm going to trap this person, whoever they are, I have no idea, I, I'm, okay, so that's a lie, I have an idea of who I think it might be, um, I don't want to get into any details, but, um, essentially it's going to trap this person in their own spider's web, um, spiders can be used a lot of the time, um, I have a recipe for spider oil that I'll probably show you guys when I make it, I have some dead spiders in a jar up here that I'm going to use, 
um, and you collect spiders' webs and spiders, and you put it in the oil. And it's kind of like my stinging oil, but it's a web oil. So it'll essentially tangle someone in their own web of lies and shit. And that's essentially what this spell is going to do. So it's going to reflect all of whatever this is supposed to mean back at them, and will catch them in their own web, and it will, you know, leave me alone. So that's what is happening here. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, a lot of people ask... You know, how do I know if someone is trying to get at me or someone's hexing me? And the answer really is you you don't know for sure 100% unless they tell you. Um, but if you have indicators such as this situation here, it, that's what I mean. What else could it possibly mean? Yes, it could be a coincidence and there's a random spider, but I don't believe in coincidence. I believe that there's always something for a reason. Now, if this was in another part of my room, the spider, I wouldn't have thought too much about it. But it was crawling towards my altar, literally. When I tell you crawling, towards, like walking towards my altar, and then it died. And I smashed it and put it in the jar. So there should be no reason why this spider is alive, other than the fact that, magically, it's alive. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, give you guys an idea of how to handle a situation like this. Um, I may or may not do a video on the spell. We'll see how personal it actually gets. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys, give you guys an idea of how something like that would work. Um, yeah, so, you know, this is how I know that I need to reset my wards and my protective stuff as well. Um, it's been a while actually since I've redone it, so they've probably faded. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a heads up that that's what's going on in terms of, um, you know, what you can do with a spider if you have it, or, um, if you do something, you know, if you find something in lieu of how I found this spider, what you guys can do about it. Um... If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop some comments below, or if you're friends with me on Facebook, talk to me on Facebook. I'd love to share with you guys. And until next time, I will talk to all of you soon. Blessed be.